In this video, I will show you how to use Microsoft Word to create an agenda for a meeting, whether it's a business meeting, a faculty meeting, a department meeting, whatever it might be. Let's get started. So here I am in Microsoft Word and I just have a typical blank document open. And of course, I could simply click to type in agenda and start writing up my agenda completely from scratch. And that's a great way to do it. However, Microsoft Word comes with several professional looking templates that in many cases, you're not gonna be able to do better than these templates. So I'm gonna click here on file and to get to the agenda templates, you can just go over here to the right where it says more templates, click there. And if you click on business, this will get you close. You could look through this and find some agendas perhaps or other similar business templates. But in my case, I'm just gonna do a search for agenda and I get several results that pop up. Each of these was professionally created by Microsoft or someone that they hired to create agendas. At this point, just look through the agendas that are brought up and you're looking for one that has the look and feel that you want and that maybe has the structure that you want for your agenda. I'm gonna go with this one here. Triangles agenda is what it's called. I'll double click on it and it's gonna download this template from Microsoft and it's gonna put it into my copy of Microsoft Word. So now I have a great looking structure, a great looking agenda to work with and all I have to do is make a few edits. You'll notice in this case, there's an area here for a logo. So your logo here, it says. And I can click on that and then go up to the Insert tab and in the Illustrations group, I can pick Pictures. And I could insert a picture from this device, from this computer, or I could use stock images. I'm gonna click here on Online Pictures and I'll do a search for a lion. Let's say that this agenda is for a school whose mascot is a lion. That might make a good logo for this agenda. As you can see, the logo came in way too big. That's okay. I can just hold the shift key on the keyboard and then click and drag this little handle on the corner of the image. And I'll just drag that down and I'll do that again. Just do it a couple more times to make the logo the size that I want it to be. I think that looks good. Now I'm just gonna click once on the second element in this agenda, marketing and sales team. It highlights the entire phrase and now I can just type. I'll just replace that with faculty meeting. Next, I can customize some of the details of this meeting. What's the location going to be? Let's say that our faculty typically meets in the school library. So I'll just type that in, school library. What's the date? For now, I'm just gonna replace the date that's there with some underscore symbols. Now I'll explain why a little bit later towards the end of the video, but for now, I'll just leave it at that and I'll move down here to attendees. So I'm gonna click and I'll type in the attendees as being the faculty and administration. And let's say the time of the faculty meeting is typically 3 p.m. I might put that in there. Below that, I can continue to customize this agenda for the needs of our faculty and our faculty meetings that we will be having. So call to order, that just doesn't seem appropriate for what we'll be doing. So I'll just change that to welcome and I'll replace this description with whatever I want to put there. So in my case, I'll put in something like new faculty members, special guests, and I could go on, but I think that's good right there. I'm going to just delete the roll call section. So I just highlighted it and then used the backspace key on the keyboard to delete that section because I don't think I'll use it or need it. So next we have approval of minutes from last meeting. I think I'll rename that, maybe something like that. And maybe I'll just put in something like this, report one, report two, and report three. We've got some open issues. I'm gonna again put in some underscore symbols. Same with here and here. And I'm basically just putting these things in as placeholders. And again, you'll see why in just a little bit. We have some new business, item A, item B, item C. And instead of adjournment, I'm gonna change that to be assignments what new assignments come out of this faculty meeting. Maybe we'll say assignment one, assignment two, and assignment three. Okay, so I am pretty happy with this agenda. I am gonna go up here to the top and change it from meeting minutes 
to meeting agenda. And I think I'll highlight school library. It bolded that text and I may not want that. So I'm gonna unbold the text of the location. Okay, at this point, I'm very happy with this agenda and I've purposefully made it generic so that I can return to it over and over and over and produce the next agenda. Once I've produced the agenda for October, I can just return to this template to produce the one for November and the one for December, etc. So how can I do that? How could I save this as a template? What I need to do is go up here to File and choose Save As. And here where it says Word Document, I'm gonna switch that to Word Template. And I'll call this Meeting Agenda. I need to pay attention to where I'm saving it. You may need to browse and find the right folder to save this agenda template into. But for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and click Save. So having saved, I can now close out of Microsoft Word. Let's say a week passes, a month passes, and I need to create an agenda for a meeting. I can simply open up Microsoft Word, click Open, and I can open up the meeting agenda that I've created. And now that I've got my template opened, I'm going to go up to File and choose Save As, and I'll put in meeting agenda for October 20th, let's say. And I'm gonna save this not as a template this time, but as a Word document. Click Save. And so what I've done is I've taken the template and produced a document based on the template. Having done that, I can go in and adjust the location if necessary. I can put the date in correctly and continue to fill out the details that are specific to this upcoming meeting. Let's say that I'm now done with that, that this agenda is ready to go and I'm ready for the meeting. There is one more thing to think about, and that is, how am I gonna get this agenda out to the participants? I certainly could click File and Print to print out a physical copy of the agenda, and in many cases, that's a good idea, but if you're going digital and paperless, there are better options for you. Also, sometimes it's nice to send out a digital copy of the agenda beforehand. So how could you do that? One option would be to go to File and choose Export, and I'm gonna create a PDF document. Here you can see some of the advantages of PDF documents. So I'll just click Create PDF, and I'll save it by clicking Publish, and now I have a digital copy of my agenda that I could email to people so that they can preview what's gonna happen in the meeting. Now besides printing and maybe saving as a PDF that you email or post on your web page. In Microsoft 365 versions of Microsoft Word, there's a great built-in feature that enables you to quickly turn your document into a web page. So that's another option for publishing an agenda. You could just click File, Transform. Word gives you a preview of what it might look like based on the style that you've chosen, and you can pick a different style just by clicking through the options that you see here. I'm going to go with this style here, and I'll click Transform. And now my document's being uploaded to Microsoft 365 and it's turning it into a working web page. And it's begun uploading this agenda into my account. When it finishes, I'll be able to copy the URL for the web page and send it out to people as the agenda for the meeting. So hopefully you've seen some of the key skills in this video that you'll need for using Microsoft Word to create an effective agenda for your next meeting. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the Thanks button below the video. You can support me through my Patreon account, and you can buy channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.